And that was a war, wasn't it? That oh, was absolutely. Up. Yeah, but you know, I was prepared for a war, and you know that's why I, uh, you know, I was real disappointed in that second match. I, I didn't, uh, I didn't make him wrestle. You know, I. Uh, just kind of, uh, I was really looking for my high crocs the whole match, and I didn't create enough action. And you know, coming into that that third match, all I wanted to do was create action, create chances for me to score. And you know, that's uh, he was on my leg a couple times, and that's that's why I scored. You know, and just not giving up any easy points. Just uh, you know, I, I wanted it. I wanted it bad. I put myself in those positions every day in the room. And, you know, I uh, I'm stingy. I don't like to lose. I don't like to give up points. And you know, I've taken I've taken some pretty big losses in the past year. And you know that all that's done is motivate me and it's made me a better wrestler. Was the NCAA finally one of those losses that you're talking about? Oh, 100 percent. You know, that's my dream was to be a four-time NCAA champion. And you know, I got that taken from me. And you know, I I wasn't happy about it, so I went back. Went back in the room and you know started developing, developing my skills and being able to get to legs and you know you, you really uh, saw how that that helped me in that first match and but you know that's those la that last match it just shows that I can uh, I can win in more more ways than one. So talk about the the difference from him from first match and second match. First match you were really able to blow it open and then the second one you know he seemed like he really closed the gap. Yeah, well you know I I got out to that lead that four one lead in that first match and it really forced him to wrestle me, forced him to come after me and you know whenever whenever people game plan for me I know that they're going to uh, you know they're not going to do much they're going to sit back because when they when they're aggressive against me that's that's when uh, opportunities open up for me to score. So talk about what the preparation was like getting ready for not just the US Open but then Final X where you knew you were going to see him again. Oh uh, yeah you know was, I, I got a couple months to train for him and you know I was uh, really uh, I worked hard, worked hard on clearing underhooks, worked hard on getting the legs, and you know, just, just wrestling in every position, and that's why that's why I won today. Now you expected the, that same type of pressure, and it seemed like you had a game plan for that. Did, did that, was that executed the way you wanted it to, or was he still able to kind of pressure you? Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't think we had, maybe we might have one or two situations on the edge, compared to three, three or four just in that one match at the Open. And you know, going, going back to last year, there was a lot of those situations on the edge where I was giving up points. So coming in, you know, I I didn't want to get pushed around, and uh, I mean, I, I didn't feel like I got pushed around too really, uh, really at all. The only time he did was when he got to an under, and I did a pretty good job clearing clearing those ties. So what do you got to do to get ready for Kazakhstan? I uh, just keep doing what I've been doing. You know, I've I've made big strides in the past, you know, just since NCAA's, and I'm just going to continue to. Uh, Work on developing my shots because you know offense. Offense is what wins one titles. You know, good defense is always uh, always good to have in your back pocket. You know those little scrambles that I have. But if I'm going to beat the best guys in the world, then I'm going to have to go go to them, go get their legs, and put up points. What were you thinking in that third match with that call and the takedown? Uh, you know my hands were locked. I mean, as tight as they could get. I had a had a uh, you know my lock was elbow to elbow, and uh, I thought it was too. No matter what, and that's kind of just kind of you know a desperation to throw the brick in and see what happens. But you know, I, I thought it was too, too the whole way, and you know I was just really preparing myself for uh, for him to come after me at the end. And uh, you know, he came after me off the bat, and you know, I just kind of kind of stood there, and it was a uh, I got the win. All right, thank you. Thanks, yeah, thank you guys.